Hello everyone, it's Luke from Diamond Wick here, and today I'm going to be going through how I learned to scarecrow. Before we get into that, if you enjoy this video, leave a like and comment telling us what you want to see next time. If you want to see more wakeboarding related content, then subscribe because we have a ton on our channel and a lot more coming soon. I wanted to learn how to scarecrow because it was a good looking trick and it was also kind of the next step in my progression. So while wakeboarding over Memorial Day weekend, I was working on my toe side jumps because I'd have to be able to do a good toe side jump to be able to do a scarecrow. I hadn't worked on my toe side jumps too much before, so they didn't start out very well, as you can see in the video, but by the end, they got a lot better. They still weren't perfect at the end of my set, but I figured I might as well try the scarecrow anyway, just to make sure I was able to make myself do one. So as you can see, that scarecrow was not good at all. We'll be uploading another video where I analyze what I do wrong and all the scarecrows that I do wrong, but this one gave me the confidence to try it again, so here's that. So that one, although very bad, was still a lot better than the first one. Like I said, I'll be analyzing them more in depth, but I pretty much did everything wrong. Although I did do everything wrong, I still did almost everything that I needed to do, which gave me a lot of confidence to go out in my next set and try a lot more. So my next set ended up being a couple weeks later, so I wanted to clean up my toe side jumps again, which is what you're seeing on screen. Over the course of about 5 or 6 jumps, I got a lot better, so I was ready to actually try the Scarecrow again. I practiced my form on the wake a couple times, and then I went for it. Although I still didn't land this one, it was way better than the first ones I had done. The biggest difference I made was holding on with both hands, which seemed to help a ton. This got me super excited because I thought maybe I'd actually be able to land at this set. So I got back on the water and kept trying. So after only 4 more tries, I was getting really close. On that last one that I showed, I nearly landed it, so I just fixed a couple things and tried to think about everything that I was doing wrong, and then went for it again. So after landing it, I was honestly really surprised because I hadn't even done 10 tries of the Scarecrow and I had already landed it, so I was super excited about it. But when you're learning a new trick and you land it one time, it doesn't really mean that you can do it. I had to be able to do it multiple times in a row for me to feel really confident in doing a Scarecrow. In my next few sets, I did a couple Scarecrows, about one each set, but that wasn't enough for me. It wasn't until a video that Jack and I were filming about improving our tricks where I really feel like I got the scarecrow down. Here are the few clips from that set and you can kind of see how I wasn't doing it perfectly but I was still landing it consistently. So as I said, most of these weren't perfect. Um, the last one was really good and I cleared the wake fully so I was really happy with that one and um, like I said we'll be analyzing the ones that I didn't do well and why I didn't do them well. So subscribe if you want to see that video, but I was super excited anyway just for landing them consistently. 
If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, it helps us out a ton. If you want to hear about how I learned to tantrum, or how Jack learned to heel side back roll or front side 360, then you can check those out on our channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.